Britain. Hi, Josh. How many people did you interview? A bunch, and I lost all my interviews because I, I was recording on YouTube. Hey, you shouldn't use YouTube, Josh. Just use your video camera and share it later. Alright. I'm just gonna film the protest. Yeah. We can't live stream anyway on YouTube. You have to have like a certain subscription. So account. you can't record. You can't record on YouTube either. Cause, cause it says you can record, but you were trying to live stream, right? No, I was recording. I was recording. There's an option to record, and that's what I was doing. Yeah. Well, you shouldn't do that. Just use your camera. film the protest. I'm not going to interview anyone, but yeah, I'm kind of pissed off. I lost a bunch of interviews. How many times have you, has YouTube done that to you, Josh? You tried to record through YouTube and you lost the video. You should stop doing that. Well, I was able to upload my video of that 5G cell tower by using YouTube. Yeah, well that was like only for like, what, 30 seconds? Three minutes. If YouTube kicks you out, you lose everything. You should know that. Oh, yeah. You want to go home now? Yeah, did you know that thing, uh... City of Redlands and uh, the AQ Smiley Library are asking people to document their experiences with coronavirus. You should sign up for that. Why? I haven't had it. No, but document their experiences of like uh, quarantine and isolation too. Just like how it affects you. Well, it hasn't really affected me. I'm sure it has. Okay, I'm gonna film for at least 10 or 15 minutes. Okay. Gotta get something onto YouTube. Yeah, I'm kind of pissed. I lost my interviews. I'm not gonna interview any more people though. So Mr. Uh, Britton, do you see anyone getting indicted? Like from the Obama administration soon? Because I don't think so. I, 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 I have always, I have long been skeptical that justice would come to the to the uh, to the deep state. But my hopes for that have risen a little bit recently, so we should see. Anthony, Fau Dr. Fauci is definitely part of it. Well, you know, if if you, if you if you had God's on board sitting on the table. So and the, and the question is. Was Fauci just wrong? Or was he intentionally wrong? He has globalist ties. I'm not sure I'm not sure which one I would bet on. I think he has globalist ties. Because he was all the way he January, he's definitely February. been working with Bill Gates for decades yes, to develop vaccines. Middle school, don't change your life. And all of a sudden, flips. Yeah. Exactly with the Democrat Party. Flips. I know. Directive recorded if you suspect, yes, and tell you what we're gonna do. 
If it's just an ordinary pneumonia case, we'll give you a hospital five thousand dollars. If you say you say coronavirus, we'll give you thirteen thousand dollars. They're purposely inflating the numerator, and they're not recording the accurate numbers. And they get forty thousand dollars for every patient that ends up on a ventilator. I know it's that high, but if you get even more of it's a ventilator. It's forty thousand. Okay. And you know, and you know, ventilators actually. They actually cause uh, harm to patients because well, yeah, there's, there's no question, they cause absolutely. inflation there's no of the throat the and stuff are, like are, are that. More than yeah. Okay, well guys, thanks for coming out. We're meeting online and Zoom on Thursday. But the protest is almost over, huh? Yeah. I'm supposed to wrap up at two. I'm gonna head home too. We'll see you guys later. Hopefully, maybe in June, we'll be able to meet together. I don't see this ending anytime soon, at least not till November when Trump's reelected. Yeah, they're just they're they're defining the law. They're defining the government, they're defining the law. Traffic, traffic is, more, is more traffic. Yeah, 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 I think big businesses, these restaurants are going to start opening up. They're just going to say, the hell with you. I'm up to yeah, we, we, we interviewed on a radio show for today yeah. a woman who owns a hair salon in Corona. Yeah. You know, I think uh, Mayor Paul Foster and the city council are glad that we're on lockdown because, like, nobody can speak out against them at city council meetings. Yeah, and they, they feel like they have power and control over everything. Mm -hmm. You know, that's not, the, that's not the role of a mayor is to exert power and control. Large, large part of this is citizen obedience training. That's unfortunate because the citizens have slacked off on their government obedience training. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna head out. I'll see you guys later. Take care. Bye bye. All right. See ya, Mr. Britton. Bye.